What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? It's the Real Rasta Boy TV and it's your boy, the Real Rasta Boy on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all the damn same time. But thanks for tuning in and thanks for checking me out this week. Um, I'm sure you just heard the song playing in the background. It's Ray J, Brandy's brother, with a new song called I Hit It First. Before I address the song, I must go ahead and give everybody a shout out. Who about is celebrating birthday this weekend? My boy birthday was over the last 24 to 48 hours ago. We turned up in Philly. Miss Trina was in Philly on Friday at the club. And if you want to see the video of Miss Trina repping being the baddest bitch in Miami, it's on my blog already. So make sure y'all go to the real raster boy dog blog spot dot com to check Miss Trina out doing a damn thing in Philly. I was shocked because I would think she was going to come out and just give us a little, hey, what's up, Philly, and, you know, all that stuff. She came out, she did a couple songs. She did the Long Hills, Red Bottom. She did a couple of throwbacks. Trina did her thing while she was in Philly. So make sure I go to my blog and check her the video out of Trina in Philly. Um, also, everybody celebrating birthdays and stuff. Shout out to you. you know, um, hope you all have been having a good birthday so far. So for everybody who's having a birthday this week, sip on your cocktail. Drink of the night is Watermelon Minute Maid. Uh, and it's some um, Pirate Bay passion fruit rum. And I put a little bit of um, orange juice in it because I don't want to be too sweet. So it's watermelon, minute made, passion fruit, Pirate Bay rum, and some orange juice. <coughs> See, I tell you, <coughs> maybe too sweet. So as y'all hear Ray J new song, I hit it, hit it, plus. Okay, so you drop the song in the last 48 hours um and obviously the title is sprung from his relationship with kim kardashian everybody know that he made kim kardashian had a relationship like like donkey years ago so i guess he thinks that he wants to get his shine on right now trying to be trivial and childish and all those words you can think of so ray j put a song out called i hate it first basically trying to say that he was kim kardashian first everybody know that ray j you were never kim kardashian first you may be the first one who had a relation with her via the World Wide Web or about to see inside her but JJ and see you lick and do all that stuff to her on a video. Maybe you were the first to do that, but you were not the first to hit it. And hit it, if y'all are so slow, that hit it means that he had sex with her first and we know that's not true. But if again, if y'all want to check the song out, the full version of the song is on my blog. So make sure y'all go check that out on my blog right now. Let me write the board dot blogspot dot com. Also, um... What's the one talk about again? Anyway, long story short, let's go to the ATL Housewife. ATL Housewife was on just moments ago, and my girl from ATL, y'all are bringing the damn dirt. Let me talk about the fashion first. So, Nene. Nene was wearing this fabulous turquoise um, gown with embellishment right here in the boobish cush area. Um, the hair was giving me some nasty finger waves, looking gorge old Hollywood with bling bling all over, legs all done for days. Cynthia Bailey was giving me very regal Naomi Campbell center part all the way down, like hair down to the Cleveland area. And she's giving me a nasty peekaboo Cleveland area black dress, very seductive. Then Phaedra, oh God. She's pregnant, so I don't know if I can really comment much on her outfit, but if she was not too flattering with that outfit. Let me go over to the other side of the room now. Miss Kenamore was giving me a nasty sun yellow dress, looking like she was about to go to spring, spring, some spring gala, you know, and um, she was giving me like side, side hair with this nasty ass curls to the side, like Beyonce curls. You know, she said she, she, she thinks she's Keyonce. Um, that's Beyonce's sister. And then Miss Canada was giving us nice, sexy Greek goddess in white. The hair is all um, like a nasty, deep red, slick back all the way down here, all the way past her boob, looking very beautiful. Um, and then Phage, sorry, not Phage, but Miss Portia Stewart. I don't know what she was wearing. She was wearing this pageant looking dress like she was going to somebody's funeral. Um, I could do well without an outfit. Um, 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 see, let me see everybody. I'm, I could do without... Phaedra's outfit and Portia's outfit. They too could be deleted or get a new stylist. 
Long story short, this this ATL part one reunion was very messy. Very messy. So this been my watermelon cocktail. Watermelon juice with some um passion fruit rum and some orange juice. Okay. So you know everybody get a little moment where you know they introduce everybody first and you know do a little bit of recap of the season and then everybody give a little one, two or three cents comments, everybody. So they talk about my girl Nini. You know I love Nini. And nobody gonna come between me and my Nini. Nini have all right when they reflect back on the episode to say that she was not gonna have nobody come to her house three hours late and entertain y'all. Candy with your greedy with your greedy self wanted to enter the house. Like, come on, girl, you get there three hours late and you wanna be entering to somebody's house for dinner when they are hosting you for a dinner party, making this big uproar about the fact you didn't get a chance to enter or get a fucking doggy bag. Like Nini, you have all right to do that. I'm like, I'm so team Nini with this one. Moving along, so she and Nini was going back and forth about the whole, you know, that thing and she's you no know, Hollywood and all that stuff and the whole dinner parties thing. Um Let's move on to Miss Portia and Ken having a uh, back and forth about by Ashy and everything. So they recap about Kenya and Portia having early the season. Remember when Kenya was invited to Portia's event and she was mixed up the title of calling her Miss USA, she actually was Miss, Miss America. They still brought up again. Obviously, they're gonna recap everything from the previous, you know, from previous episodes. That's why Rena is, is, is uh, has come about. But um, as much as Portia wanna come for Kenya. Kenna is just giving me a, I need me a fan. Kenna was just giving her fan for days, like bam, bam, ma'am, bam, ruh, bam, ruh, bam. I'm like chopping them from left, right, and stuff with this nasty ass Chinese fan. Portia, I so feel so bad for her sometimes because sometimes I listen to her when she speaks. I'm like, Portia, I'm like, ooh. But anyway, Kenya. You are giving me, bitch, I could care less what you want to say about me. I'm going to read your girls for filth. And if y'all try to come for me, I'm going to come for you. Because please, as Miss, in the word of Miss Kenya said, don't come for me unless I send for you. <laughs> and in that order. So moving along, um, Phaedra and Kenya was going back and forth. It was like the last 15 minutes of the show was all about Kenya's and... Phaedra going about donkey booty, the stallion booty DVD, whose body's in shape, whose body's out of shape. At the end of the day, who the hell cares whose body in shape or whose body's out of shape? Phaedra about to have that damn baby with, those, with that ugly face she making up on the reunion and looking like a bloated fish. And you, Kenya, um, say you're not dating a, a wealthy oil, um, whatever he is, man. Like, at the end of the day, is you have a DVD, she have her DVD, who the hell cares whose DVD is telling more than the other? You both are making sales on Amazon.com. It's not like you're like selling off of, you're selling out of GNC and you're selling out at um at Walgreens or something. Y'all are out of Amazon and at day people are buying your DVD, Kenna, people are buying your DVD, Phaedra. Um, Phaedra. Who the hell fucking cares about whose DVD is selling better than whose? And who has a plastic, who's a plastic Barbie and who have silicone booty or who's... <sighs> Man, these girls are so silly but I have to still watch. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So anyway, moving on from that, there was just go back and forth too much about the DVD, about this, you no, know, no, the dual deal that was not, you know, kind of felt some way, of poor, um, um, Frazier felt some way, and there just was too much going on. But anyway, long story short, um, they were back and forth, back and forth for a good minute. Um, what else you talking about? They talk about the same thing. They were just giving us more regal this season. They said, since you know. On pro season, everybody was saying Cynthia didn't have a backbone, but now she does. And Cynthia's been looking, giving us outfits, wigs, hairstyles, change of this. Every time I see Cynthia, she's giving us a new ponytail, a new weave, a new look. I'm like, bitch, you better fucking work. And that dress that you're wearing tonight is everything. There was not much about Cynthia yet. I'm sure they'll bring up more dirt about Cynthia eventually. Because, you know, Cynthia's been very chill back and laid back this season. But I know they're going to come for her real soon. Um... I still can't even get over um, Portia and her just trying to come for Kenya and Kenya just eating her for filth. Um, bye Ashley, bye Ashley. Um, who else was going on? What's going on the show again? Um, the, so Candy was going with Nini about that damn dinner shit. Um, 
Let me find my phone because I was tweeting back and forth um, with some of my, with some of my friends on um, on um, on um, Twitter. And if you're not following me on Twitter, please make sure you go and follow me on Twitter at the Read Rasta Boy um, on Twitter. Um, people were talking about um, oh Kim Zosia gonna come out. Um, I think on next week episode gonna join the cast um, and speak about the fact that um, you know her not. Being MIA for every function and you know all that dumb stuff, so she's gonna be joining the um the cast next 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 part two, which is next Sunday. I'm gonna see what else people are talking about. Everybody was saying they were loving. We're we're all loving Kenya's fan. She was giving us every day. She was giving this diva fan, and everybody was like, "Bitch." Um. Also, they were questioning about, do you think that Kenya's Moore's butt is real? Because you know she and Kenya, um, Carrie Fage was going back and forth all night about whose silicone booty, whose body's better, whose DVDs outstanding, who DVD. So. Please leave your comment in the comment section if you think Fage's butt is fake or you think it's real. Please leave your comments right below this um, video. What is people were talking about? People were saying that, um, I'm trying to see what people were commenting about the Hey Tail Housewife here on my Twitter, um, Time TL. Um, everybody was saying it was giving them too much. The show was giving them too much and they were living for um, um, the expressions on Nini's face and everybody was looking real nice. Um, I want to try so I can put the video of the ATL Housewife reunion part one on my blog. Um, I try recording it, and if I don't get it on there tonight, I'll try to get it on there tomorrow. But I'm not going to lie. Um, I can't wait for part two because part two is going to be everything. These um, ATL Housewives, ugh, tell you no lie. Um, Nene is just um, sitting down there watching the girls go at it because next week she's going to be snapping at Phaedra. About some shit about I don't even know. I think that I think the husbands also joins them next week on um, part two. Um, make sure y'all chasing up. And again, if you have any drinks idea about what you want me to see me drink or share with the other viewers out there, please feel free to inbox me at the rest of TV at gmail.com. Part one reunion out of ten. I rate it to a nine and a half. Just when you girls were turning it up. Phaedra and Kenya back and forth was turned up. That, that snapping and Phaedra was there looking all big and swollen. Um, 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 going off on Kenya. Very solid. She was not raising her voice. And Kenya was just over there giving her like, bitch, I could care less. I'm going to give you filth. Um, Nini was just over there kicking and kick and laughing out loud because she couldn't take it. Um, of these girls going back and forth. But um, from a scale of 1 to 10, the ATL Housewife reunion part 1 has want me wanting to see part two and part three right now. But I know Bravo's gonna stretch it out, so next week Sunday we're gonna see more of the part two with Phaedra and Nini going at it. And I think Ken um I think Miss Kim Zozak is walking in to talk about her non or at her lack of presence and every function and early leave and never be in attendance. Anyway, please make sure y'all checking my blog out. Trina Trina's video is on there um of her attendance in Philly. Ray J's new song is on there um, a couple other stuffs on there. Um, shout out to Halle Berry. I know you're expecting your second baby. Congrats to you. A lot of stuff on my blog. Brandy in the new um um magazine for for Pink magazine. I keep y'all up to date about stuff what's going on. Please make sure y'all sharing this video and share it on your Facebook, your Twitter, retweeting it, retweeting it, retweeting it. Thank y'all so much for watching. And and again, if anything is that you want me to share. While I do my video recaps, please free to email me or leave a comment right here on the videos. And thank you all so much for watching. And cheers. Happy weekend. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow or some or whenever. Alright, let me go back to some more Ray J. I hear it. First, juices.